to my channel, it's your girl Lissy. And today guys, I'm gonna be doing something that a lot of you guys have been asking me to make more videos about. So if you guys are new to the channel and you guys don't know me and you've never seen my videos, short story short, I have a collection of haunted dolls. Some of them I've gotten from antique stores, some of them I've bought off eBay, and some of them have even come from mystery boxes and estate sales. And my most haunted doll I found in a little antique shop that literally was labeled haunted and I had brought her home and she even was seen moving on camera, which is absolutely insane, and I will talk more about her in today's video. But tonight, guys, I'm going to be spending 24 hours overnight with my haunted dolls and trying to figure out which one of my haunted dolls really is the most haunted. So this is my most haunted doll, Lenny. This is the one who has moved on camera before. Haven't seen her do it since. Her eyes are hollowed out, and she's in a very nice Victorian dress. I'm gonna be talking about my haunted dolls and showing you guys my entire collection, and then we're gonna set them up to have a sleepover over overnight and see if they do anything suspicious. So now I'm gonna show you guys my haunted dolls. If you guys are new and you haven't seen these, brace yourself because there's a lot of them. Okay guys. Oh whoa, little Jimmy fell down overnight. Oh little Jimmy fell down. Okay, and he's not supposed to be like that. So this top shelf here um, has my most haunted doll who you guys already know about, Lenny. She always sits here and she has no eyes. So you can see, well, there is eyes, but they're in like the bottom of her head and they move around sometimes. This one here does not have a name yet. Comment down below what you guys think her name should be. Um, she is supposed to be known to be attached to this one. They were both found together. And this one has things in its mouth sometimes that move around and its eyes also move. He has no arms and his legs are really creepy. This one here has no eyes as well. I don't know what is up with the no eyes trend. It looks like her eyes are moving though. Kind of scary. This one here I got from a convention. I think she came from an abandoned house. This one here follows you. If you guys can see that, her eyes actually follow. So this is the first row of haunted dolls. Row number two. This one here is a barrel. Oh my god, he's moving. Okay, I don't know why he did that. He sometimes drums when he's not supposed to. The monkey, apparently he's supposed to move. Oh, he's still moving. Holy crap, I swear. Okay, this one is super weird. But the monkey, I got him from a mystery box. I don't really remember his story. Little Jimmy. I don't even need to explain Little Jimmy. You guys can just kind of assume what you want about Little Jimmy. He's special. This one here falls over sometimes. She's pretty old and her eyes can flutter. And she has a very interesting mouth. This one here is a collectible. She's not haunted. This one here is an animatronic. Down here, we have another haunted music box doll. I think she plays music. And we have a haunted clown that moves around sometimes and a puppet doll. And over here, we have Rose, one of my first haunted dolls ever. She sits on the floor. My new puppy likes to try to poop on Rose and she does not appreciate it. I don't know why he's done that, but he thinks Rose is a poop spot. She is pissed about it. We also have our haunted Raggedy Ann. Can't forget about Annabelle. She's literally the same style as the real Annabelle was. Same size, same model, same everything. And this one here sometimes falls over. She stands up. She's the biggest haunted doll that I have. She's huge. She's literally the size of a child. So those are all of my haunted dolls. And now we're gonna spend the night with all of them and see if any of them do anything that they're not supposed to do overnight. I'm a little scared to do this, not gonna lie. I haven't released them from their shell in a long time. Okay, I'm gonna start bringing the dolls into the room. I wanna know what the dogs think about Rose because Halo's been pooping on Rose. Halo! Angel just ran away. Why does he look scared of her? He's actually scared of this doll. What? I'm gonna set her right there. He does not like her. Okay, I'm bringing some more in. Trying to set them all down and Halo looks like he's debating his life right now. Halo, we're having a sleepover tonight, buddy. Oh my god, he's scared of this dog. Putting more out and Halo is still really debating his life right now. He looks terrified. It's okay, buddy. They're just having a sleepover. Update. We're getting there. We're getting there. So I have all of my haunted dolls lined up on the bed in front of me and we're gonna be spending the night with them. We're gonna line them up and we're gonna use some different ghost equipment like the REM pod and some of the cat balls and even the spirit box. See if any of them have any messages they wanna send through. This is gonna be really creepy, but let's get into it. God, why does Lenny look like she already has something showing in her eyes? <gasps> Did her eyes move? 
holy crap okay um this is gonna be really interesting let me know if you guys see any of them move at all and i think i might start off by using some equipment before i go to bed I like i see orbs moving also my dogs are so scared they refuse to go in the bed now they're both in the bathroom they do not want to go in the bed all right i'm ready for the sleepover i hope they're ready i have the pajamas on i got the whole pajama fit all the dolls are lined up and um this is gonna get really interesting all right guys it is pitch black in this room i cannot see anything at all i have a night vision camera and i have a rem pod and there are all the dolls behind me Oh my god! So I'm going to ask them some questions with the REM pod and see if any of them want to answer. Hello spirits of my haunted doll collection. If any of you guys are active and present with us tonight, can you touch the REM pod or the cat balls that I placed on the bed? Light them up to say hello? Oh, hi! Oh my god, that was so fast. Hi! You guys can also move. Oh my god, you guys are letting up. Hi! Hello! Hello! If you guys want to move to show me which one of you guys you are. I know there's a lot of dolls. Okay, hello! Are you Linny? Can you light it up green if you're the spirit attached to my most haunted doll, Linny? Maybe it's not Linny. Okay. Are you Rose? Which one of the dolls is it? Or you can move. Oh! Temperature change! Holy crap, that scared me. I have chills down my body. It's so dark in my room. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight after this. Okay, well, hi! One of them is very active. I don't know which one. Can you guys move or fall over? Whatever doll you are, can you fall over if you guys want to show that you're here? Maybe I'll pull the spirit box out. Alright guys, I have the spirit box on for you. Do you want to say something? Any of you guys? Connect. You want to connect with me? The temperature keeps changing. Is that you guys? Hi. Do you guys want to tell me who I'm talking to? What was that? What just flashed? Holy shit, what is that? What is that? Oh my god, I'm literally leaving my own room. Which one of you guys just made the flash? I'm putting the lights back on. Y'all are scaring me. Okay, so... In the last clip, I don't know if you guys could tell, I got really freaked out because while I was filming, there was like a flash in my room and I don't know if it was coming from the REM pod or the cat balls because I had it in night vision. It was completely dark in my room, but there was like a flash. Like it looked almost like a, like a picture flash and it came out of nowhere and the spirit box was saying just weird words. Something is definitely haunted. All right, good night all my haunted dolls. Don't you do anything too scary while I'm sleeping because then I won't ever be able to sleep ever again. <laughs> okay, okay, we're going to bed now. I swear we're going to bed now. I don't know about the dogs. They might be too scared, but I'm gonna go to bed. Good night dolls. Oh, man, I'm kind of scared of doing this. I think the dogs are considering joining me. Oh, he's going up here. He's scared though. They love bedtime, but they're definitely a little scared. Good night, everybody. Oh, they're sleeping with me. The light goes out. She fell and why does her legs look like that? Her legs are like creepy looking. Did anybody else fall or move? Wait, he fell too. He wasn't like this before. <gasps> oh, he looks even creepier. All right, well that's definitely a little suspicious. The dogs are still just in bed right now. I don't think she wants to be in bed right now. She looks like she's, oh my God, she looks like a ghost. She looks like she's debating her whole life right now. It's okay, Angel. You look really creepy with night vision. Really creepy. This one definitely fell off the bed. Or when I was getting into the bed, I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb because it's so dark in here. That one even looks like it moved a little bit. Ew, did it move? Lenny's eyes, ooh. That one looks like it's, it's been somewhere. Okay, well. The monkey, I swear, has been moving the whole time. I don't know. This is creeping me out a little bit. Especially Angel. She looks like she's like over her life right now. Angel, you literally look like a ghost. You don't even look real. Okay, well, I think I've had enough. I don't think I can handle it. It's like halfway through the night and honestly, I think I've had enough. I think I can't sleep like this. I don't think she can sleep like this either. Can you sleep like this? 
Do any of you guys want to say anything? I don't see any of you right You see me? You don't see me right? What do you... Sleep? I was just sleeping with you guys. Are you upset that I'm not sleeping right now? Do you guys want me to go back to sleep? Go to sleep tonight. Oh my god. Even Angel's scared. Why do you guys want me to go to sleep right now? Look up. I don't see anything up there. Spirits? The spirits are up? You guys are above me? Hello? Can one of you guys move? To show that you guys are here? Which one, which one of the dolls is haunted? Lily? This one? That's Lily. Is she haunted? Can you tell me which, the name of which doll is haunted? I don't understand what they're saying. Angel looks so over this. Is it the bear or the clown? Oh, this is creepy. What is Angel doing? She looks so scared. Are you guys messing with my dog? Oh my god, she's terrified. Was that you guys? Wait, why did that one just move so much? Oh my god, I think the dog's haunted, I swear. It's literally messing with my dogs. Well, she's terrified now, and now she's back in the bathroom because of you guys. That wasn't very nice. How did you guys scare my dog? Shut up, it makes sense. Oh, <gasps> the clown just fell! Holy shit! The clown just fell! Was that you guys? Bye. You're not allowed to follow me or touch me. Sorry, it's okay. Goodbye. And I'm closing the app. That was getting a little too much. So the spirits decided to mess with my dog and scare her. And then they apologized about it. And that was really scary. And then the clown just fell over all by itself after Annabelle fell. These dolls are haunted, but I don't think I can handle 24 hours overnight with them. And I'm scared to replay the video and see what more I didn't capture. But I can't handle sleeping the whole night. I tried. But moving right on to my most popular haunted doll, and this is the doll that you guys have been begging me to make a video about forever, and I recently did just upload a short about her, and a lot of you guys missed this doll. This is Rose. I don't know if you guys remember the video where I bought her, but she was my first haunted doll, and I got her quite a while ago. She smells like smoke, and it's a pretty heavy scent, so every time that I'm holding her, I kind of like inhale that, and it's a little discomforting. I don't know if she's a nice or a mean spirit, but I did keep this doll in my room one night, and my dog just got scared of her and ran away, so that's not a good sign. She's literally looking terrified at this doll right now and running down the hallway. So she does scare all the dogs in the house. I do want to point that out. And usually the dogs don't care about the toys and things I bring into the house, but this doll scares the dogs a lot. And not only that, but she fell off of my shelf one night when I was keeping her in my room after the video when I first got her. She completely just tumbled off the shelf. And since then I got so scared, I've kept her in the garage. Don't think she likes that. So I want to apologize to her because I don't want to disrespect her for the spirit that might be attached to her. But I feel like this could be my most haunted doll. So that's candidate number one. Candidate number two is, I think his name is Jimmy. I don't really remember. Sorry little buddy. This guy was also one of my first haunted dolls. He has really creepy eyes. He blinks sometimes randomly. I swear I've seen him blink when he wasn't supposed to. He doesn't really scare me. I do feel like he might be haunted. I got this one at an antique shop. I believe the same antique shop that I got Rose from. He is just really, really creepy. His eyes are a little foggy now because he's actually pretty old and he does blink so... I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when he blinks. Kind of like that. Candidate number three. This is my very large Raggedy Ann doll, AKA Annabelle. I don't know if she's really haunted, but a lot of you guys really wanted me to see if she is. I don't really feel like she's going to be, but she will be in this challenge of my haunted dolls tonight. I got her from the antique store and you just never know what could be attached to something. This is a huge doll. She's literally the size of a small child. And she actually did scare the dogs as well, which takes a lot because the dogs think everything's a toy. So that could be a sign that something might actually be coincidentally attached to my Annabelle doll. I doubt it, like I said, because there's a lot of Raggedy Ann's in the world and everybody likes to think about Annabelle, but you never know. I don't think she'd be levitating at night. I think she's just a cute little Raggedy Ann. Next candidate we have is uh, my monkey doll. <laughs> this one here is just kind of silly looking, um, but for some reason it did come in one of my haunted mystery boxes and it had a story attached to it, which I don't really remember, but for some reason he was haunted, but he's never done anything weird for me yet. But I'm actually excited tonight to put this one 
one to the test. What should we name this monkey? Let me know in the comments. And last but not least, from my recent last, I think, haunted doll mystery box video, I got sent this one on eBay, who apparently was haunted, and the owner of this doll was so freaked out that they got rid of it. This one is Mrs. Elegant, is her name, I believe, um, and she's sitting on a chair. She's a very beautiful doll, but I would love to know more about the spirit that is allegedly attached to this haunted doll of mine, so hopefully tonight, after I spend 24 hours with these dolls, that we will get some answers about why they're haunted or which one is the most haunted. Okay guys, so here is going to be test number one. I have lined up all of my haunted dolls on the bed right next to my friend pod and this will light up any color once I turn it on if a spirit touches it to show that they are here. I also have this EMF reader here that will light up to red if there is a spirit here and I'm going to set it next to all of my haunted dolls. I love how they're all just sitting. Those two are laying because they don't really stand. Annabelle sits really creepily. Look at her. Look at those legs. Monkey's just vibing. Anyways, we're gonna turn on this REM pod and turn the lights off and see if anything does happen. It's resetting right now, so it's gonna take a minute to reset. We're gonna turn the lights off and see if anything happens. I'm gonna try to watch them carefully and I wanna know if anything happens overnight. It is pretty late right now, by the way, guys. It's 12 o'clock. I would love to know if any of you spirits can say hello by touching the EMF reader to show that you are here or lighting up the EMF reader to red or touching the REM pod to show that you guys are here. We are happy to be welcoming all of you. All right, let's see if there's any individual ones here out of my collection. Rose! We would love to know if you're here by touching either of my equipments to show that you're here with us today. Jimmy, if you would like to show that you're here, can you light up one of my equipments to say hello? Don't be shy. Monkey, if you are here, can you light up one of my equipments tonight to show that you are here? Alright, so right now, none of my dolls have done anything to the equipment that I've put out, and it is getting late. I've been trying to be patient, I've been filming clips, but nothing's happening. So, I am going to open up a Spirit Box app and see if we can get any words or voices from my lovely haunted dolls right behind me that are sitting on the bed. Also, let me know if you guys see anything weird behind me moving. Um, I am going to open up an app and see if we get any words or voices from my haunted dolls. Alright, so we have this app right here, and this is a Spirit Box app. We're gonna click start and see if we can get a hello or a name of any of my haunted dolls. Hello dolls, are any of you here to speak with us today? Can we have the name of the doll that is present? I thought I heard Rose immediately. Okay, maybe I'm going crazy. If Rose is here, can you confirm that by saying Rose again? Rose, are you a child or um, an older spirit? Did it say my name? Okay, that's creepy. Can you say my name again, Rose? Oh my gosh, I said Lizzie twice! I have chills down my whole body. Okay, I don't know which one of you guys that was. Was that Rose that said my name? Which one of my dolls is haunted? Can you guys tell me? Annabelle? Really? Okay, we're gonna switch to Annabelle. I'm a little concerned. All right, I thought the spirit box at Annabelle, so Annabelle, can you tell us what your favorite color is? It says Lissy in a whisper! This is so creepy. I don't know if I like this, guys. Annabelle, if I'm speaking to the spirit of the Annabelle doll, can you tell me, are you a girl or a boy spirit? Do you enjoy my company? Do you have anything you want to say about one word to describe your life? You're done? Do you guys want me to stop talking to you through the app? It keeps whispering Lissy! Okay, I'm gonna stop with the app right now. Because genuinely, I don't know if you guys have realized, the app literally whispered Lissy like three to four times, which is actually scary because I don't know which doll I'm communicating with or if there's a spirit that is pranking me out of these dolls on my bed because none of my equipment's going off. So it's getting a little weird that the app, you know, was giving me Lissy, Lissy, Lissy and just a mixture of answers like Annabelle, Rose, like which doll is haunted? I don't know. I'm gonna pull out these rods and I'm going to ask them to try to direct me with the spirits to which doll is the most haunted of mine. So to do this, I'm gonna have to do something very specific with the rod. I'm actually gonna have to film with my phone to make a point here. So let me switch to the phone camera. Also, I wanna mention that my dog is actually so freaked out right now. She doesn't wanna be near Rose at all. She just jumped off the bed. She wanted to go back on the bed. And then as soon as she looked at Rose, she jumped away and now she's walking away in the hallway. 
She does not want to be here at all. But I am going to blame one of these dolls for that because my dog never does that. She loves being on the bed. Oh, to be specific, I'm going to hold up this one rod here and I'm going to hold it as still as I can. As you guys can see, it's very still. And I'm going to ask the rod to point to which one of my dolls is the most haunted. Spirits, can you tell me which one is most haunted? It's going to the right. It's moving on its own. Oh gosh, I know exactly who it's pointing to. Rose. Okay, it went far right. It's not Jimmy, it's Rose. So she is my most haunted doll. I'm gonna move it back to the center again. Spirit of Rose, can you point to Rose again? If Rose is who I'm speaking with right now? Something just tickled my finger. Oh my gosh, that felt so weird. Okay, I am speaking with Rose. That is the one answer I wanted to know. Thank you for letting me know, Rose, that I'm speaking with you and that you are my most haunted doll. Now that we know that Rose is the most haunted of my dolls, we're gonna ask her some more questions that you guys have been wanting me to ask Rose. I'm going to ask, Spirit of Rose, were you attached to the doll before you passed on? Yes. Was this doll a gift from a loved one to you, perhaps, before you passed on? Yes, all oh, that is so sweet. They got it as a gift. This question is a little scary, but Rose, I want to know, are you a nice spirit? If so, cross the rods. If you are a mean spirit, can you open the rods? Okay. Um, I hope that you're just pranking with me because I don't, I don't want to do that tonight. Rose, are you a pranky kind of spirit? Do you like to pull jokes and have fun? Cross for yes, open for no. No! Okay, well that's lovely. Those just opened so fast. Alright, that's that's great. I'm a little scared right now. I'm like shaking. Ooh, okay. If you are happy that I am owning you, that was immediate no. Are any of my other dolls haunted? Cross for yes, open for no. Yes! Okay. It's getting later and later. It is now past 1 a.m. It is 1.30 a.m. And I've been spending the whole night with these guys trying to capture any of them moving or setting off my EMF meter or my REM pod, but nothing has happened. So we're going to pull out another piece of equipment for tonight to see if we can get any evidence as to what is up with these dolls. Oh my gosh, okay, right. Oh my gosh, I caught that. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, right as I set cat balls down to let light up, the EMF went off. That doll fell over and that doll fell over on its own and they have been still the whole video. Oh my gosh, I finally got something on camera proving that that one might be haunted. I don't know what just happened, but that was really, really creepy. I also set down cat balls, which was why I actually pulled out my camera to record, not to capture that, that was coincidental. But I set down these cat balls and if they move, they will light up just like earlier, which was shown. Um, and if any spirits want to touch those to show that you're here, you're welcome to touch the cat balls. I put one on Jimmy, and I put one on the EMF reader. But the factor that those two dolls just fell over is actually so scary. I'm going to leave them how they are. I don't know how to feel about that. That was the most evidence that I've caught tonight over the whole challenge. That was crazy. And I did not move that. There's nobody over here. I'm going to show you guys. I just have a carousel horse, a bunch of plushies. There's no one under the bed, nothing, no strings attached to these dolls. They are just completely on their own, and if they move, they move. Rose has been laying here just like this the whole time. It is now almost 2 a.m. in the morning. Oh my gosh, guys, I have been up all night with my haunted dolls who I've been letting have a slumber party on my bed. Let me know in the comments down below if I should do a video where I let all of my haunted dolls have an actual slumber party with me. Like, I stay up all night, I put cameras up in my room, and I sleep with them overnight and see if anything happens because if this video gets to like 20,000 likes I'll do it. That was crazy. I did get some crazy cat ball movement on camera and some other stuff with the rods. Honestly, I'm a little scared to go to sleep tonight. Genuinely actually horrified after watching the cat ball light up because I have not moved anything and all the equipment is still on the bed. That's just crazy to me. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comments down below what I should do next with my haunted dolls. And if you guys have not hit the subscribe button, be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.